So in the last episode, we were able to calculate our totals, that is the subtotal and the total cut quantity. But in this episode, I want us to show them on the UI. So first thing, uh, let's export our cut total amount and our cut total quantity uh, using our value. So here, here we already have cut total quantity. Let's include our cut total amount. This will be number. Okay, I save that. Let's come to the bottom. Here we have cut total quantity. We are also expected to have our cut total amount. So we pass that, we include a comma, and we save. Awesome. So now we can go to our cut client and we will receive that cut total amount here. So cut total amount. We get that. We come to the bottom here where we had our sub total. And here we remove this. We include our curry brackets. We will use our format price um, method. So format price from our utils. We invoke it. It expects us to pass a number and we'll pass our cut total amount right here. We save and this should be formatted. There we go. Now we get this amount there. Amazing. Now we need to show our cut count here. So for cut count, we will do that on our navbar. So we go to app, then components, navbar. So we, ha we had only navbar here. So we will add a new file for this particular component called a cut count. So we'll say cut count and then dot tsx. So here, a state trace functional component, cut count, we return a div and we'll do some stuff here. Okay, let's start with a class name. It will be relative we'll have a cursor of pointer. So whenever we click on our cart count, it will be taking us to our shopping cart. So that means that we will need to have an onClick event. We pass this arrow function. And here we will have our router uh, dot push. And we will push to our stroke cart. We don't have this router defined. So let's come here before our return statement and we'll have const router uh, will be equal to use router from next uh, navigation we invoke it and whenever we do this whenever we use a hook uh, this should now be a client component so here we pass use client so i saved auto format and this is now what we have so far we will get our cut a total quantity so we'll say const with this structure cut total quantity and this will come from now our use cut hook so use cut and we invoke that and now we'll use this cut total quantity to show the number awesome so now inside this div uh, we'll have two things we'll have an icon and let's include that icon inside this div and we'll say that this is ci shopping cart it's not being suggested i close it uh, we should import this so let me copy then at our imports i uh, will say import with this structure ci shopping cart these will come from react icons then stroke ci now here, we'll have a class name and we will increase the size for this to be 3XL, extra large. Okay, so I save to auto format. And now below this, we will have the cut counter. We will include it in a span. We will say cut total quantity there. Now we'll have some styles, class name. And this will be absolute to our parent div which was relative so here this will be absolute and we'll have a top which will be a custom value of negative 10 px we will have right we'll have also a custom value of negative 10 
px we'll have bg as straight 700 we will have text as white we'll have height of six we'll have width of six so this is a, a circular counter so let's make it to be rounded full flex items to the center um, justify center and then the text will be small i save that now we have this component let's go to our navbar and instead of showing cut counter we'll show that component here so here i get our cut counter from our cut counter like that we save and it should show here let's see and there we go look really awesome so we have included this uh, circular label with seven there using this span then the icon is this one right here and we absolutely positioned this one to be at the top there and uh, i hope now it makes sense now if i decrease here this is also changing six look five six seven if we remove four and this is working now awesome now from here we'll go to a whole new section uh, because when we click on checkout uh, we should actually be able to go to the checkout page but we should also make sure that the user is there and is logged in so we don't have a user in our application and in the next section of this course we will be working on authentication so i'll see you in the next section